Hey there, Facebook friends. Happy Thursday. Um, so, as you jump on, say hey, let me know that you're here. Um, I just love to recognize, you know, those who catch the live or catch the replay. Um, so, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Katie Carlson, and I am so glad to be here sharing with you all. Um, and just really being vulnerable, just what I've been going through these past um, few weeks. And is why I, you know, titled this video, Fear is a Liar. Um, so the past couple weeks have really been a struggle for me lately. Um, and, and that's mainly because of fear. Um, and if, if you all have ever let fear take control of you then you know how bad it can it can cripple you right like it will stop you dead in your tracks and that's kind of what it did with me um so for some reason i and i went to my counselor today and i was talking to her you know because we need we need counselors right that's what they're they're there to to speak to someone with that that has an unbiased opinion, right? Who doesn't take sides, who's um, gonna call you on your BS, really, and just to help you vent and to be able to talk through things. So going to a counselor is very beneficial um, for you, for a marriage, you know, for really anything that you're going through in life. A counselor is um, very beneficial because we can't handle problems on our own, right? And I firmly believe that God put counselors and therapists and, you know, teachers and doctors on this earth, you know, and all these other professionals on this earth to help us in our journey because we're not meant, we're not meant to do that, do it alone. We're not meant to carry all these burdens. And, um, so he put those, you know, he put professionals in our path to help us along our journey. Um, so I am, very adamant about, you know, using a counselor, seeing a therapist. Um, I wasn't when I was younger. My mother tried to send me to one and I was like, I'm not talking to a counselor. Like you're nuts. I'm not crazy. Like I'm not going to, but that's not what they're there for. They're really there for you to have an, un to get an unbiased opinion, to really help you, um, help you through your problems, help you through issues that you may be going through. Right. Um, because we do have friends that will call us on our BS, and we also have friends that won't call us on our BS, but will actually co-sign it, um, and and find ways to justify it. So, a, so a counselor really helps in that way. Anyway, um, so lately, for some reason, for these past few weeks, actually, I want to say the past couple months, um, I've been living on this fear that I'm going to wake up one day and everything's going to be gone. Like, this is all going to be a dream. And that's why a lot of times you will see me say that I feel like I'm living a dream. Um, because even though our lives are far from perfect, you know, we have our ups and downs, right? Um, it still feels like a dream. Because when you've been living on, you know, drugs and putting substances into your body that don't belong there... Um, when you actually do start living life, it does feel like a dream because in a way, like you're in awe that you, that you're here and you get to experience it because in God rest their souls, there's a lot of people who don't make it to the other side of addiction. Um, that unfortunately they lose their lives to addiction and it, and it breaks my heart because we've lost way too many lives to addiction. Um, so for the past few weeks or months, you know, I've been living on that fear that I'm just going to wake up and everything's going to be gone. This is all going to be a dream. And it's really kept me stuck. So if you just jumped on, say, hey, let me know that you're here. Um, but it's really kept me stuck. It's kept me stuck in my business. It's kept me stuck in, in my, you know, my personal life, my, my health and wellness journey. Like I'm, I'm bouncing around and it, and it finally dawned on me the other day. Like, that's what it is. Like, I'm afraid to move forward because I'm afraid I'm going to wake up one day and it's all going to be gone. Um, and that is, that is the enemy stopping me from moving forward for God's purpose for me. Right. 
Because in any way that he can get us, that's how he's going to get us. So if he knows that he can get me by fear of, you know, everything is going to be gone, then that's what he's going to do because he can no longer control me by drugs. He can no longer control me with cigarettes. Um, he can no longer control me with food, right? So he's like, okay, well, since you're so used to living life, you know, the fast life, I'm going to put this fear in you that one day you're going to, you're going to wake up and everything's going to be gone. And that's, and it's, it's kept me crippled. If you can relate to this, you know, drop my hands up in the comments, drop me, you know, because I, I know that I'm not the only one that, that deals with this, but I want to let you know that it will cripple you. Like it will stop you in your tracks. And that's what it's done to me for the past few months. And it dawned on me like the other day and I was talking to my counselor about it today. And she asked me, do I watch the news? Do I watch any of that? Oh, what's going on? And I don't, I don't watch the news. My husband watches the news, but I don't watch the news um, because it is so negative and it does put a lot of fear and, and to us. So no, I don't watch the news. Um, but in Isaiah 41:10, it states, don't be afraid for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. And that right there gives a sense of peace, right? Because God promises right here, don't be afraid, for I am with you. He is saying, I am always with you. Don't be afraid. And, and it's very important for us to remember that when we are afraid, when that fear does come in, that we recognize that that is not Christ. Christ does not put fear in us. That is the devil. That is Satan putting fear in us to keep us stagnant, right? To keep us from moving forward. Um, don't be discouraged for I am your God. Right. So don't. So he's saying don't get discouraged for he is our God. He is a mighty God. He is a powerful God. And whatever we are going through, he will help. The, he will help us through that. Our job. Right. Our part, because it's not that you don't have a part to play. We all have a part to play um, because here's the thing. God's not a magic genie. He's a father. He's a loving father. And he wants us to do our part. And our part is to fully trust him and love him and seek him with our whole heart, right? And he will always be there for us. So don't be discouraged, for he is our God. And then it says, I will strengthen you and help you. So in our times of weakness, God will strengthen us. And it says it right here, so we know it's true, because the Bible says it, Right? It's not like Google. Google says it, so it's true. No, it says it in the Bible. Isaiah 41 says, I will strengthen you and help you. So when we think that we are weak, we are strong in Christ. And he promises right here that he will help us. So for me to stay stuck in that fear for a couple months... And not, and not realize it and not recognize what was going on. And then when I finally did, it was like that light bulb went off. Like, wow, you know, this is what's been holding me back. This is what's kept me stuck. And it's, it's, it's the fear of rejection, right? It's the fear of letting people down. It's the fear of, you know, um, letting myself down. And that all goes to really pleasing the world. And... For so long, that's what I searched for, right? I looked for acceptance in others. I looked to please, you know, others um, when I was trying to please others because a lot of my life I was selfish. Um, but I was, I would try to like make others happy and do what others, what I thought others wanted me to do. Instead of, you know, doing really what, what made me happy. Um, and it says, I will hold you up with my victorious right hand, which means he's not going to let us fall. He's going to hold us up and we are going to be victorious. So we just need to trust him. Trust that he is going to be there for us. Trust that he is going to strengthen us. Trust that... We don't need to be afraid because he is there with us. 
Um, like I said in my post this morning, you know, when I was, when I was always looking for acceptance from others instead of looking for acceptance in me and looking for acceptance upward, um, my life was miserable because it led to 20 years of addictive behaviors and addiction. It led to me um, prostituting. It led to me just drowning my, my fears and my pain in drugs. And I think why this fear came up, you know, is part because when I would start having fears before, before I actually got a hold, you know, got a strong foundation in my faith and a strong foundation in my recovery, um, before I would have went and picked up, my thought process would have been, well, I'm going to lose it anyway. Why wait? Let's just self-sabotage now. And that's what the enemy wants. But I'm here to say that I have a mighty God on my side and you have a mighty God on your side. So don't let, don't let fear hold you back anymore. If fear is holding you back and, you know, whatever that fear is, bring that fear to light. Because what comes to the light dies in the light, right? If we try to keep it to us bottled up trying to deal with it, all it's going to do is fester. And it's just going to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And that small fear is going to grow into a bigger fear. So bring that fear to the light. Rather, you know, it's with a counselor. It's with someone that you trust. If you don't have anyone, shoot me a message. Let's talk. Let's chat. Um, because I would love to help you you work through that fear or just for you to bring it to the light, right? So it, so it can die in the light. Um, I just wanted to share that because it was, you know, it was put on my heart to, to share about this fear because I know I'm not alone. I know there are others out there who have let fear hold them back. And I have. And I'm not going to anymore. I'm not going to be afraid of rejection. I'm not going to be afraid of what people may think of me. I'm not going to be afraid of people judging me. Because the only judge that I have, the only judge that you have, is the one above. That's the only judge that we have and the one thing that I am looking for when I leave this earth is a well done, good and faithful servant. Good job. You've done well. That's what I'm looking for. Am I perfect in this journey? No. Am I perfect in my faith walk? No, I struggle with that. Um, and that uh, too is a lot to do with the enemy because I'm always wondering, am I doing it right? But is there a right or wrong way to seek God? No, because all he says is seek me with your whole heart and you will find me. And that's what I'm doing. So if you're just jumping on, go ahead and um, you'll have to catch the replay. I'm jumping off, but thank you for, for jumping on. And if you are letting a fear hold you back, don't. Reach out. Bring it to the light. And let it die because it's the enemy stopping you from becoming the person God originally created you to be. Have an amazing day.